everybody today in this video i'm going to take you along with me in screen printing custom hoodies from start to finish we just got our transparency printed now that we got our transparency paper printed we're going to be doing a one color left chest print and a one color full back print so without further ado let's go expose these screens all right, y'all, now that we got our transparencies right here, let's go ahead and grab our screens and start exposing. But first, let's turn these lights off and put the yellow safe light on. There we go. Now let's go ahead and safely open this up. Now I'm gonna be using, now I know you're gonna ask, I'm gonna be using a 156 mesh for both of these screens. Again, I'm gonna say it 156 mesh. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my screen, make sure it's a 156. Yup, now it's exposed. All right, John, now I'm gonna go ahead and get my tape and get this design onto this registration sheet that I have. So I'm just gonna tape off all four corners. Get it centered up on here. Grab my screen, line it up to the corners. Boom. Now let's expose this. I'll put it right here. Add this pad. And I'm going to go ahead and expose. And you're probably wondering what time I'm exposing at for this. I'm using the base layer emulsion and I'm exposing it at 20 seconds. So it's pretty fast, but you can always get a faster time. But 20 seconds is what works for me perfectly. So let's wait for that to happen. And three, two, one, it's already done. Let's go ahead and pop this out. And now we just take this out and let's go to the washroom. And now that we're here in the washroom, first things first, we're just gonna go ahead and get, this design, get the design or the screen as you can see once I do that you can automatically see that the design is slowly starting to appear I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it out front and back As you can see, it's already slowly starting to fall out. What I'm gonna do is wait a couple seconds, let the water fight and battle with the emulsion, and then I'll come back and spray it out with the pressure washer. And now that it's been a couple seconds, watch how I just rinse this design out. Boom, it was as easy as that. And one tip I like to use is use a water hose. I mean, not a water hose, an air pressure system. And what this does is just clears the open areas of the design so no emotion gets into the open areas. Trust me, I learned the hard way so many times where the emotion would just dry here and it was just a pain. All right, y'all, now while those screens dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox the hoodies and start getting those counted up. So we got this box. Now that we got the hoodies all stacked up in here, I'm still missing some, but they should arrive today. So let's go ahead and grab our screens and start getting ready to screen print. And now that I got my screens right here, I'm gonna go ahead and load it up onto the press. And now let's get these registered and centered up. So let's bring this screen down and now these center registration marks is what I'm gonna line up to my center line on the palette. So let's bring it to the center, lock it in. 
and we're good to go with this one. And let's do the same for the left chest. I have this left chest mark. So we're gonna bring it here, get it to my left chest mark. For this, I'm gonna use my micros a little bit just to bulge this up a little bit. There we go. And then this one. And that's perfect. And now, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and tape up the corners so no ink escapes the screen because this is the openings of the screen. And if you don't tape it up, it's just gonna come out from the other side, just in case you didn't know. Now it's time to choose our ink color. So in this video, we are gonna be screen printing with like a Kelly green ink. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this ink. Now, now I know you're probably wondering what ink is this? This is basically like the lime green. This is from Wolf Flex. I used this and added a little more of a dark green to it to make it not as bright, but still uh, Kelly green. So let's go ahead and load this up onto the press. All right, now that I got the ink all mixed up, I'm gonna go ahead and load it up. That's a nice, it's a nice looking green. I'm gonna add some to the left chest as well. Don't need too much on the left chest. Before we begin production, of course, you got to get your palettes tacked up. In this case, I'm using water-based palette adhesive. And all you do with this is basically put it on and then spread it all over your palette. And this is a water-based palette adhesive. So all you do is just spray with water and just scrub the extra excess lint off and place it under the flash dryer and the uh, whoa and the glue will just get reactivated so all you do is basically just spread it and slide it over rinse and repeat pour it on and just spread it just grab a business card and get this spread it on here I know what you're thinking. Let's start printing already. And I'm there with you. So let's go start printing. But before we do that, one more quick step. Make sure you tape off your registration marks before you start printing. Because the worst thing you want to do is start printing on the actual hoodies and then accidentally print the registration marks. It's just a sticky situation you don't want to be in. So tape it off. All right, now finally, let's start printing. Let's do a test print on a test shirt, of course. So let's load this shirt on here. Now let's do our back print first. We're gonna flood it up. Send it under the flash shard. Now you send it under the flash shard just for like eight to 10 seconds. I don't wanna do too much because you don't want the ink to be get cured but you just want to touch it and make sure no ink is getting on your hands as you can see there is ink getting on my hands so i'm going to send it under the flash dryer a little longer while it heats up now let's check it out that's, that's good check that out that's a pretty clean print now i'm just going to go ahead and take this out as you can see that palette adhesive is strong right now but it'll be perfect for hoodies now let's send this under the cure so now that i set that through the conveyor dryer let's go see on the other end to see if it cured properly
Now you want to make sure that it reaches about 330 degrees to 340 degrees to get a proper cure with Plastisol ink. This is Plastisol ink, not water-based ink. So I'm just going to let this cool off a little bit and then we're going to do a stretch test to make sure it is cured. Now if you're new to my videos, I always do a stretch test for all my orders just to make sure everything is cured. And what a stretch test basically is, is what the name is, just stretch it to make sure that the design is not cracking. And as you can see, I'm stretching that design and nothing is cracking and everything looks like it's cured properly. So let's go through the front print, make sure everything's good with that. And then let's begin production. And here's the front design that we just got printed. As you can see, that looks like it came out perfectly as well. Stretch test, everything stretches no cracking, everything's durable. Let's begin production. And that's a wrap for these hoodies. Let's see how they came out. And there it is, everybody. These hoodies turn out fire. These are the mid-weight independent trading coat hoodies. The dark green colorway. And then the ink was like a lime green color. Almost exactly like the equipment color so that was really popping on there it looks good the two green on green shades look fire if you all enjoyed this video please give this video a big thumbs up go ahead and subscribe i got a ton of video and content coming out for you guys i know it's been a while since i posted a youtube video it's been about two weeks and i feel bad i wanted to get a video out for you guys but it's just been so busy it's just been hectic winter time everything holiday season it's just busy season everything's been crazy but videos are coming. It's the new year approaching 2022. You best believe we're going to do some crazy stuff on YouTube. Everything. There's a lot of good things coming. Um, I appreciate you all for supporting always. Please give this video a big thumbs up. And until then, I'll see you all in the next one. Remember, no grind, no glory. And let's get it. It's hot. I need to take this off. The lava, lava Wolflex ink from Lime. Uh, what am I saying?